Shalom to everyone who is watching me and listening to me right about now. I'm here to encourage you and I'm also here to bless you with this powerful word. And remember that these are words that you need to get connected with. These are words that you need to believe in. Believe in the word because the word works no matter what situation you are going through. No matter how difficult your problem could be, the word still works. The word has been proved throughout generations, throughout centuries, that it works. When you speak the word, if you need healing, speak the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from all their afflictions. The word is able to deliver you. Some of you are in prison. I'm talking about spiritual prison. Some of you are going through a spiritual warfare. It is the word, the word that will deliver you. Brothers and sisters, I want to uh, bring to you a topic that is very powerful. And today's word is actually never despise yourself. You are powerful. God has blessed you into that region for a reason. That state, that country you are in, that company, corporation you are in, you are there for a reason. You are there to cause change. You are there to create a way. You are there to let people know about Jesus. When people look at your life, they are supposed to believe in Jesus. Because when they see you, they are supposed to see the Jesus in you. So never ever undermine yourself. You are powerful. You are a mighty man and woman of valor. No matter what conditions have brought up to you, no matter what people have said about your life, you are still powerful. You can still make a change. You still have a purpose. There's purpose at which you, have, you still have purpose. So my brothers and sisters, today's powerful uh, scripture is from the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 11 to around 16. Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 16. The Bible says it clear. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the tame tree, which was in Ophir, which belonged to Joash, the Abizate, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, Oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So he said to him, O oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you. And you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. Gideon was speaking to the angel of the Lord. Gideon despised himself. Gideon did not believe in himself. Gideon did not even know that he was a mighty man of valor. He had no idea. Some of you, you have no idea who you are in Christ Jesus. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. There is greatness in you. Some of you, there is potential in you that you have not yet unlocked. There is power in you. Power working in you. The Lord said to Gideon that he is with him. In fact, Gideon said, how can I save Israel indeed? My clan is the weakest. Gideon had grown up with a belief that his clan was the weakest. That his clan 
was the weakest in Manasseh. Not only that, forget about his clan being the weakest. He's even said that he is the least in his father's house. My God. If his clan being the weakest was not all that is this, he was the least. That means in the entire country, Gideon was the least. He was the weakest. That's what he believed in. Some of you have believed a lie. You have grown up believing a lie. And God wants you to know the truth. That's why you see the Bible says, This book of the law shall not be part from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. The reason as to why you should meditate on the word of God day and night, because there are a lot of lies, deception, that the enemy has been presenting to you. The Bible says it clear, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Transform yourself by renewing your mind with the word of God. Because there's a pattern this world has presented you with. There are grades this world has put you in. Levels this world has pressed you in. Renew your mind so that you know who you are. When you look at the word of God, when you meditate on the word of God, it is like you waking up in the morning and looking at yourself in a mirror. The word of God will tell you exactly who you are. The Bible says that the angel of the Lord told Gideon that he will be with him and he will defeat the Midianites as one man. The one that people thought was the weakest was the one that God was using to defeat all the Midianites as one man. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to encourage you that the Lord is with you. That the Lord is with you. That the Lord is, has not forsaken you. You see, Gideon had a perception that God had forsaken him. He even asked the angel of the Lord, Where are the miracles which our fathers told us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us out from Egypt? So he thought that God had forsaken him. He had a perception that God had abandoned them. They had forgotten about the things of God. Brothers and sisters, God has not brought you this far to forsake you. You have not come this far to be abandoned. God loves you. God cares about you. God understands your problems. Rise and shine. The Bible says, arise and shine for your glory has come. I want to encourage you that your glory has come. Arise and shine. The Bible says that you are the light of this world. You are the light, not somebody else, not your neighbors. As you are thinking that your boss are the, 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 the most intelligent. But no, you have the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God is much more superior than the wisdom of the world. So my brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.